both tobacco and alcohol are at a greater risk of developing certain head and neck cancers. While it's the most common risk factor, it isn't the only one. Oftentimes these cancers aren't in people that smoke, so we kind of investigated why are these people getting these cancers and the link was HPV. Human papillomavirus, or HPV, is linked to head and neck cancer. A new study reveals that HPV raises the chances someone will get head and neck cancer by at least sevenfold. Some good news is that these HPV-linked oral cancers seem to respond better to treatment. As we've continued to study this, we found that when these patients do get this cancer, their survival is uh, better and, and treatment seems to work better than them for whatever reason. Also new is that younger people are now getting head and neck cancers. 40s, some 30s, uh, rarely less than that, but mostly 40s, 50s, and some 60s, rarely older than that. Finding cancer in younger people is more of an uphill battle. They're typically healthier and less likely to seek attention for minor changes. With no clinical screening test, it's important to give any symptoms a heads up. Pain in the throat, sore throat, difficulty swallowing that does not go away after two or three weeks. Pain in the ear that is unexplained. Lumps in the neck, adults are not supposed to have lumps in their neck. Treatments for head and neck cancers include surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy. And many of these cancers can be cured, especially if they're found early. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.